Hi, this is Dr. Inky Perrick, and welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday, where we learn yet another thing about vascular health. So first, the blood vessels, it comes out of the heart. So when the heart pumps, the nice, good, oxygenated, nutritious blood comes out of the heart. It forms a little question mark around the chest, and then this is now below the diaphragm. Once it comes below the diaphragm, it gives a blood flow to the gut, to the kidneys, and then right around here, it's your belly button. And then after around the level of your belly button, it splits to go to the right leg and the left leg. Below the groin area, the blood vessel then splits to go to a little bit more of a deep or posterior system, and another one within sort of a little bit more of an inner interior system, and then around the knee then it splits to go to three different areas. So let's take, for example, number one, if we do a pretty pretty routine um, surgery that we do, which is the lower extremity endovascular technology to treat your blood vessels. When you come in saying, I can't walk or I have gangrene or I have a wound that won't heal or my foot's in constant pain, some of it can be because there's lack of blood flow from atherosclerotic disease. And now we have to go clean that out and get your blood flow to the legs to be better. So your doctor may come in and say, oh, you have artery down in the calf area that that's bad, or some might say you have artery in your thigh area that might be bad, or you have iliac arteries, which are in your abdominal area that might be bad, or that is the most important culprit for you not having blood flow. All of these different segments have different outcomes in terms of how you're gonna do. For example, if you came in and your significant atherosclerosis is in the aorta iliac segments, a lot of times if we're able to fix that, especially in an endovascular minimally invasive way, you're good for 10 20 years without really even blinking an eye. Conversely, if some people have most of the disease below the groin, those are in some ways easier to treat initially. However, once those are treated, there's a big portion of the patients that may require a touch-up, more medications, another intervention in order to make sure that you have an adequate upkeep. I might encourage you to do a lot of other things such as walking and exercise therapy to promote your own body to form some of these blood flow connections so that when we have to do an intervention or when we have to operate, the outcomes are optimal. So this was Whiteboard Wednesday so that we can figure out your anatomy and the more you know the better you're going to be educated and less anxious